Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today we're gonna be playing with the new ColourPop or Kid You Not palette. I just think it's such a beautiful purple palette. Only $12, so I figured today we could go ahead and just test it out. I had a really sad day yesterday and I kinda just want to not think about it, not talk about it, but play with some makeup. And if I'm not in my usual spirits, that's why. But that's one of the reasons why I love playing with makeup is sometimes it can be just such a good escape. So let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so here is what the palette looks like up close. Such a pretty like plummy purple color story. My nails are a mess right now, so please don't judge me, but I will try and have them done before the next video goes live. So the first shade that we have here is called Pretty One. And it just looks like such a stunning, like, lavender silver kind of shade. Super, super pretty. We've got Rebloom. Just like a soft, kind of mid-tone mauve. And then, of all purple, which this one is a little bit more of like a thin shimmer, but it's a duochrome kind of hot pink with a purpley blue shift. ColourPop shimmers are not typically my favorite. They're definitely a little bit more lackluster than what I love. But sometimes when it's something like this and the color story is just so cute and it's so affordable, I kind of just go for it anyways. And if I need to, I'll pull in some single shadows. But this one does look really pretty. I bet with a glitter primer, it would look amazing. And next we have the shade Moth. This one is just a really pretty kind of ready plum. We've got OMG which is another duochrome. It's kind of like a little bit of like an orangey base with a pinky purple shift, more on the subtle side, but very pretty. And then Ada, which is a purpley plum. Okay, next we have the shade Buddies, which looks like such a pretty cool tone purple matte. I just really, really like the tone of that. We've got Seedling, which is kind of like a deep brown base you can see there with a burgundy shimmer running through it. And then lastly, we have nuh -uh, which is a super deep plum. I feel like the mattes in this palette are what's really standing out to me. So there's all the swatches. I think it's swatched okay, nothing like overly impressive, but I do really like the color story. If I remember correctly too, Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun did a review on this and she said that it actually swatched better with the brushes than with fingers. So I'll make sure to link her down below in case you wanna check that review out as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Rebloom, scrubbing that on a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna put that all the way through my crease. I mean, the pigment is real because normally when I go in with this brush, it's the Sigma E40, it does tend to shear out shadows to begin with just because it's such a big fluffy brush. So I feel like that looks pretty good. It's actually pulling a little bit brighter on the eyes too than I was expecting it to. I think next I'm gonna go into the shade Ada and I'm just gonna put that all the way through my crease. Oh my goodness. Looks so good. Like the pigment and just the shade is so pretty. Blending pretty easily too. I mean, dang, that was quick. I'm taking the shade Nuh -uh, a little bit of that and tapping off the excess. And I'm gonna put that in my outer V. Just feel like these shades are so pigmented. They definitely look better on the eyes than they did swatched out. Like, I mean, I haven't tried any shimmers yet, but I'm feeling like this palette is worth it for the mattes alone. I'm just gonna go into the original fluffy brush that I went in with and just start going over the top of the crease, just making sure everything's nice and soft. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Buddies for my lower lash line, and I'm just gonna grab that on a eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna start off and do that as close to my lower lash line as possible. Bring up the pigment just a little bit. And then over that, I'm just gonna go in with a clean pencil brush and just 
blend that out. I'm being a little indecisive right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take of all the purple and I'm just gonna throw that on my inner corner. I was thinking I was gonna do that all over the lid first, but I just think that the duochrome will stand out more on the inner corner. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna use this shade Pretty One all over the lid, but I'm gonna start off with some NYX Glitter Primer first just because I feel just knowing ColourPop's formula that I'm gonna need it in order to achieve what I would be personally happy with. You could wet your brush too if you didn't have glitter primer. Just going with a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer all over the lid. Focusing majority on like the front two thirds and then whatever's left over I'll blend into the outer third but have it be a little bit less glue there because it creates more of a natural flow. Now going into pretty one, just starting that off on the inner portion. That was so pretty. And then just taking whatever's left over and bring it to the outer third. I feel like that looks super, super pretty. Maybe let me go in with the shade or the brush that I use for my outer V with the deepest shade and just lightly Go over that. Definitely gonna use the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Arrow Number no. Three liner to add that extra little burgundy moment in my waterline. Throw on some mascara and I'll be right back. So for my cheeks, I already went into the ColourPop Just a Flush cheek palette and I used this bronzer and then I used a combination of both blushes just because they're like a really pretty mauvey tone. I thought they would go with the eye look. So I did that before I even started. I figured I'd also go ahead and use this highlighter today, which is super, super intense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that Oh goodness, very sparkly on the tops of my cheekbones. Kind of blend it in with my clean finger, fing, finger, finger, finger. Goodness gracious, okay. Throwing it on my nose. I bet this highlighter would be so pretty on the inner corner too. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into the Sigma Renew Lip Oil in the shade All Heart. Alright y'all, so this is the finished look and I am surprisingly so impressed by the Orchid You Not palette. I mean, I felt like when I swatched it out, I was just like, kind of like, okay, looks alright. Really just excited about the color story, but then using them on the eyes, like I feel like the mattes in this palette are so pigmented and like just like the perfect kind of plummy, purpley tones, like the depth, the easiness to blend. I was just super, super happy with that. The shimmers, although I only played with two of them, I think that they look nice, they look decent, and the shade all over the lid with adding that glitter primer, adding a little extra help, I think that it looks pretty bomb. Like, this look out of a $12 palette, cannot complain at all. I definitely see myself reaching back in here for the matte specifically. Can't wait to play with this more. I'd be curious if y'all picked up this palette, what you're thinking of it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.